So let's see if, if I pull the gauges out and paint this gauge cluster instead of this green plastic color, a brighter, more reflective color, like bright white. Let's see if that will be more reflective and cause more light, meaning my gauges light up better and brighter. So we're already at this point because we're doing other stuff, but let's keep going for further and take out all the gauges. So just gonna go around and undo all the bolts for all these gauges. Don't believe removing the gauges is actually necessary to take the whole cluster out, but you know I gotta remove them to paint the inside, so let's do that. All right, took the oil gauge off. Uh, it had this fitting on the back. <laughs> Make sure you do not start your engine with this disconnected, otherwise you're gonna get blasted with oil. <laughs> so everything's disconnected. Now I need to reach behind and unhook the speedo cable and then unplug the harness. Okay, cluster is out. Here it is. And so I took the dash lights out, just turn them, pop them loose, set them aside so you don't break them or lose them. And this popped out. Uh, the Speedo actually came out without having to do anything, but you had to unhook the speedometer cable from the gauge, which gets held in by a little tab so you just press down then pull it out so really not that bad uh, and then the harness on the back of course but yeah so this is all free I can dust out here so I don't have any dust smell or anything lingering and start the process of cleaning and painting this and we'll see if this actually brightens up and if it actually works or not all right we got to take off the printed circuit board so I just undid the clips on the front side uh, pretty simple, but here we go. Gonna keep this all together. I took a picture so I have a reference to put everything back together exactly how it was. But So let's pop these green things off. We'll stick them aside. Um, they just pop straight up. One less thing to worry about. And now if we take a look, there shouldn't be anything that needs to be masked off. You know, I could probably just cover the holes on the back side so we don't spray through or... I mean, really, that doesn't even matter. But, yeah, this is good. Let's clean it up, get rid of all this dust and dirt in here, and then it's ready for a coat of paint. Alright, using a flat white paint here. You don't want to use gloss because gloss doesn't reflect as well as um, more like a flat will. Gloss will cause what's called heat spots where the light will reflect in certain areas and not the entire thing like a flat or maybe a satin would. So let's try this out. The paint has dried. It is now a bright white. You can really see how bright it is. It's nice, bright, flat white. So let's reassemble this, throw it in, see how it looks. So here's a before shot. This is max bright. This is max brightness with the cluster painted white. Now I would say that is a huge upgrade. And with the lenses on, it dims it a little bit since there's still that haze in my lens, but this is perfectly readable at night. I would say this actually did work, which kind of surprised me because it seemed like a cheap, silly mod to do that may or may not work. But honestly, if you're doing this, you might as well just throw in LEDs in there. They're so cheap online. You have to take it all apart. You might as well just throw LEDs in there. But I wanted to stick with this 
just to prove a point in this video to see if it actually worked or not. Turns out it does. Um, now, LEDs would definitely be brighter and probably they would be what I would suggest to use, but hey, this works. So if you want to stay true to factory with the factory style bulbs, this is an option. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.